Okay, so here we're getting some more practice with number sets. And um, again, if you're doing this for homework or you're trying to get practice for yourself, you can work along with me and pause at certain times, or you can pause right now, try these questions, and then compare your work with mine. Uh, but you choose. So I'm going to start. Uh, here, the first question says, what is the best classification for negative 6? In other words, uh, what What's the best way to say what kind of a number this really is? So first of all, um, in, in choice A, they say, is it irrational and a real number? Remember that, that real numbers, right, the only types of numbers that we'll talk about right now that are not real are imaginary and imaginary. And if you're interested, like, like I, which is equal to the square root of a negative number, or complex numbers, Right, which which kind of combine the imaginary world with the real world of numbers, so like i plus two. Uh, those are kinds of numbers that we are not really going to be talking about uh, in this video, or maybe even uh, something you'll encounter in middle school. It's, it's usually reserved for later. But but if you want to look into that, there are videos for that as well. But here, irrational in the world of real numbers, there are irrational. We'll say i for irrational. Mm, sorry, bad idea. Uh, we'll have rational numbers, uh, which are represented with a Q, and irrational, which is like not rational, not Q. Anyway, all this drawing, all this is saying is that that uh, when we have a number that's it can it can be I'm sorry irrational and real. That's possible because irrational numbers are part of the real numbers or the world of of real numbers, but this number is not irrational, so it's out. And the next one we say is an integer, a rational number, and a real number. The answer is yes, yes, and yes. Integers are part of the real numbers, right? They're in this world of real numbers. They're basically positive and whole, positive and negative whole numbers. So like 1 and negative 1, 2 and negative 2, and, and of course including 0. Rational numbers, any number that can be written as a fraction. Well, negative 6 can be written as a fraction in many ways. You could write negative 6 over 1. You could write negative 12 over 2. You can keep going, any equivalent fraction. And of course, it's a real number. Um, right? It's not imaginary, it's not complex. So that one works. And the next one, it also works. Yes, negative 6 is a whole number, an integer, and a real number. Right? It's all three of those. Oh, sorry, it's not all three of those things. Uh, it's not a whole number. Whole numbers only include positive whole numbers. So when you see the word, phrase whole number, you might want to remind yourself, don't make that mistake that I just did, it's only talking about positive whole numbers, not negative ones. That's what integers talk about, positive and negative whole numbers, and, and this is certainly negative, so C is out. And then last we have D. Now this is confusing because, yes, we just said it is rational and real. Uh, that's true, but B is a better choice because it also describes it as an integer, which it is. So the, we're looking for the best classification, and B is the answer. Now the next one, similar question, but now it's saying the number 0.6 belongs to which of the following sets? Uh, all this stuff, the rationals, the integers, all, all these types of numbers are called sets of numbers. So 0.6 is, is not a natural number. That's out. Natural numbers are the counting numbers, like 1 and 2 and 3 and so forth, but not 0, of course. It is not a whole number. A whole number has no fractional part, so that's out. It's not a counting number. A counting number is a natural number. Same thing. Uh, again, it's 1 and 2 and 3 and so forth. Integers are positive and negative whole numbers. So, so that's out. Rational number, yes. Um, it can be written as a fraction. 6 over 10. That's 0. 0.6. And also, this is a terminating decimal, so it's rational. Um, it can be rational and irrational at the same time, so it's not irrational. And yes, it is a real number. It's in that group. So I would say that 0.6 is a rational, real number. All right, hope that helped.